14th of July 2016, day 2 IPM, begins with a bang. Trazadors, a good tracking device. It was a good performance, the entry was good, a natural performance. And a good demo video. Definitely, good demo video. That's what I that's what I've written as well. And it was really good to hear about the effort, the effort they put behind uh, whilst making the product and the failures they had to face whilst making the product. So it was it was good to have a background about the product. Uh, one thing which I felt was that we don't really require the definitions of the pricing strategies, whichever they were using, but they combined the different pricing strategies. So and they understood the audience well. So that was a very good thing on their part. And they had researched it well. It was a team effort. We could easily make that out. Uh, but the best thing about that was uh, their start. They involved the entire audience. Mm. And also some of the features that they added, like memory card, considering the environment, Indian environment about losing networks. So that was very thoughtful. It was a good presentation overall. And the product was also uh, attractive. Yeah, I agree. Um, they asked a lot of questions when they started. They asked a question to each and every judge. And that kind of took us from what we were thinking our state of being to their state of being, to, to pay attention over there. And and that was very catchy. I think that was a very creative idea. One thing that I really liked about the, the product as a whole was that it, they had put really a, a much amount of effort into it, making the product and also making the advertisement and everything. Um, they kind of mixed the idea of an end user and a customer <coughs> when they mentioned that their customer is an infant and old, old age disabled woman. Um, all of those are not exactly their end users. They, they are their end users and not exactly their customers. Um, the team was very comfortable with each other. That was very exciting to see, um, which doesn't happen usually. Um, and I love the way they used Arduino because I'm a, I'm a tech guy. I love those things. And the fact that they're getting exposure towards such technologies at this level is fantastic. And I'd like to uh, add one more thing. They In their demo video, they added instructions to use, right. which was right. not done till now. Yes. And that was very nice and uh, it came out very clearly. So that was one additional point for them. Next one, the next group was the Supremes. The Supreme. Uh, great confidence start. Aditi Rugani entered with Shairi and captured the audience. Good presenters, both of the kids and the, they had good presenters in that team. Their TV commercial was very good. And of course, the demonstration of the slipper, the, um, what is it, slipper grip, yes. grip yes. slipper grip. Good product. Yes, definitely. I really liked the product. I thought they could have explained the logo. They had a good logo, but there was no clear, clear cut explanation for that. But apart from that, it was good to hear that they had contacted uh, similar product making uh, businesses and they had got to know that, okay, uh, that business focuses on a certain section of the market and this, this is the gap in the market. So they identified that and they tried to fill it, which was a very good uh, business tactic and they also told about their future plans about that summer thing where they would have ice in their uh, grip. It, th that was good to hear that so it was good it was a good presentation overall. And they also talked about the foam punch the material that they use so they were well aware and they had researched it well uh, their advertisements were good and uh, the product was uh, uh, really the need of uh, the R I can say that it is very useful and uh, it was innovative, it was nice and presented very well. Um, yeah, the product solved a seasonal problem that we have during rain. And the, the function of the product was totally in its design. There were, there were no technical aspects or technology related aspects. Um, that's something that I really liked. Plus also, the, uh, this also brings in a lot of space of innovation when you're just tweaking with the design of what exists right now and building onto new one. So it was a great product. Okay, the next group, Cura, it blew us away. It was an amazing product, a wheelchair and a stretcher. Extremely good presenters, very well dressed, very immaculately dressed students. And the presenters were very fluent and practiced. Yeah. They had their roles, they played their part, even if there were one or two who were not so strong, but the others carried it through. Excellent, very good medium. The commercial with Ashlesha especially was very, she has a stage presence, she has a screen presence. And that came and it was, and she played on it well. It was, it was an excellent product because to, uh, according to me, that was not only um, 
it was like what she said the need of the hour in the health sector definitely yes. definitely and what i really loved about that group was the presentation obviously and the start they started with the ad advertisement sort of an advertisement like that was sort of a demo video which really grabbed attention which was different from what we've seen so far so that was a very good start and it was a very perfect presentation overall they had their future plans in it they had their pricing strategies in it and it was in sync with the market uh, demands and what the hospital uh, shortage crisis they are, the hospitals are facing so it was well thought well researched in a very perfect presentation overall yes and uh, the best thing is they believed in their product they were so confident and even while answering questions we could see the team effort going into yeah, it yeah. so presentation was very good and the product uh, they started that it gives care comfort and cure so you know they lived up to their words when they actually demonstrated the product it was more than what we expected stretcher plus wheelchair the idea is amazing they executed it uh, very well and uh, a great presentation for a great product um i agree to that i think a great product is a product that you can explain in the most simplest form and what these guys had over here when i saw their brochure for the first time they had a pitch with the, with about 6 to 7 words in it and that in itself explained the product instantly so that was very powerful and again it was a design product it it just played around with the design and totally changed the the way things happen right now so i think of every product that i've seen until now this one i would consider as an actual product that is solving an actual need in the most perfect fashion yeah, and maybe this is the product they can take further take it to the market and see what can be done about it because it would be totally useful at this you know present situation Absolutely. in yeah. hospitals yeah. Yeah. the next product was the next group was trenello um, they came up with a solution for um, alzheimers not a solution but something which would aid patients with alzheimers the presentation was all right the media was not appropriate and the idea was not supported by a pow powerful presentation um, they couldn't get across to the judges and i think maybe to the audience what exactly was a special feature of this particular uh, uh, walking stick right exactly yeah that was that was a key area where they lacked out and because of that it was kind of hard to understand what they were trying to do but after after we got a grasp uh, grasp it was actually useful like we sort of realized okay how useful this product is for alzheimers because they had a switch an emergency yeah, panic, panic button, button which yeah. uh, you know uh, which is the only thing that the as my as my okay uh, as i'm a patient has to remember so that was a good thing overall uh, the one thing which i felt about this group and a few other groups as well that a lot of people tend to read what's written on the screen rather than explaining it so there was one guy who just read that okay uh, this stick would help the police as well but how would it help the police i want i would yes. like to know that so please just please just don't read read it off the screen and try to explain it and even while answering the questions it was later on that ma'am uh, explained us that right. we got the idea right. so when you have such a good product and uh, you know it's specially for alzheimer patients and they talked about inbuilt pad free panic button uh, so if you elaborate on that it gives a very good impression it, yes. it will also help them to gain some marks but uh, uh, they couldn't uh, uh, convey it to us very efficiently uh so the presentation could have been better yes. right. but uh, the product was mind blowing it was yeah. very good product um i agree i think the product was a very powerful product um and they were very clear in articulating how they made it and what the product is but then they didn't clearly articulate why did they build something like this and because of that it only looked like a stick with a box attached to it until they actually showed the product to us and then we started to have a conversation so i think the presentation was lacking as everyone said right. but it was it was a very powerful product and their hard work and effort was clearly visible on the product i forgot to add about that group is that uh, the thoughts about entering the market was very brilliant like free sam giving out free samples and having discounts and stuff on uh, fathers day and like uh, you know those kind of incentives which they would give out to the audio to the to the clients before uh, a client buys the stick so these kind of thought process they, they show, showed that with the, in their presentation so that was a good thing that was a plus point for their presentation team number 5 innovating india wonderful idea wonderful idea with an ambulance app 
and the way they explained it, the way they explained it, they showed the video, I think demo video was with Sterling and Wopkart and connecting the two and it was excellent and the ambulance, right? And the advertisement was very good with one of the uh, participants um, having a, a, a heart attack and then he gets up and says, use the app, use yeah. the app. But so they will answer, jaan loge kya? Yeah, but check, jaan loge Very good work, very silent presence. Not a uh, very uh, a loud group, but a very silent, calming presence, but actually talking about something which is so essential in this day and age. Definitely. Yes, excellent group work. The tagline was amazing. Life may be priceless, but yeah, our yes, app yes, is not. That was yeah. the best thing in the entire presentation. Life may be priceless, but not our product. Not yeah. our Yeah, app. Not, not, not our, our product. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. So that was, that was a very good uh, statement. I really liked it. And they had some funny moments in the presentation that kept our uh, attention uh, grabbed. And that was, that was a good thing on their part. I really love the print media. It was short, snappy, colorful, and I got all the information within two minutes. That's what print media is supposed to do. So, well done uh, to that team for that part. Um, yes, the media they used was very good. And even the presentation, they were straight to the point, no drama, no sure. additional points. They were just coming through. And uh, uh, with a, having a great product like this, uh, uh, they could display it very nicely. So. Uh, it went well for them and uh, Ambulance app, it is one of the very useful product and uh, really innovative and uh, I guess uh, uh, extending it to ordinary public which they talked about was uh, also really thoughtful and they answered the questions about exactly. advertisements exactly. also very confidently. They had their alternate plans so mm. their research went into the product and uh, that is why I got. I think they got the perfect 40. Yes. So the team got a 10. So it was a very nice. I think the only team to get four tens, right? Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is the only team which has gotten four Perfect tens. Product, Perfect product. Yes. Um, yes, I agree to that. When they started, they started by showing the introductory video, and what was most most interesting about it was when this when the video started, none of us had any clue what's going on, what's what's going to happen, and that built up a curiosity. It felt like I was watching a keynote video where they never start with speaking they start with a video and that builds a curiosity so that was very good another thing is that in, in marketing the biggest objective is always to make it stick and they nailed it they perfectly nailed it we clearly remember what the advertisements were like we clearly remember what the slogans were like and, and, and that's the that's the most gripping part of the presentation we even remembered that line yeah. Life may be priceless, but not our product, and not that our app. Us laugh. After 12 presentations, that line still remember, is there in our head, lingers. So that's, that's a good thing. Yes. So they were very clear about what they were doing, and it was a great product. Very useful and very nice. Team number six was Phoenix. And that was a table cleaning device. A good product, but it seemed a bit bulky. And I think one of the features which they said they had not put in yet, I think a vacuum device yep. that would have added more value like value to the entire product seemed a little bit bulky though Yes, definitely. It did seem a bit bulky and they had not uh, properly thought about their financial plan. It was it was an innovative one, but it does not exactly work in the actual market. That's what I felt, obviously. Uh, I think they needed a bit more team effort as well. There was a lot of ch uh, chit-chatting going on on the stage. Okay, you speak, no, I speak. That kind of uh, team effort. So I think... Uh, Rehearsing their own, uh, rehearsing about their own product would have definitely helped aid their presentation. Uh, yes, and uh, I, th I thought a bit of research was lacking. They should have actually approached the hotels and asked them that, would you use this product? Yeah. Because this product is not a necessity. It's just an add-on. So uh, that was lacking. Presentation was good, but the product was uh, all right. Uh, uh, because it lacked vacuum, I, I think that if a vacuum had been there, then it would have made it an outstanding scope. Yes, and when, when they started the presentation, they had that, they had their device on the table, and they just kept on speaking from start to the end. Um, and, and that's when it struck me that instead of them telling us what it's about, why don't you show it to us since it's there on the table itself? So, so there was a lot of telling and a little less of showing, which could have changed the other way around. But I like the product, I like the idea, I agree to these guys that if there was a vacuum it would have seemed like a magic, like oh you just vanished the food. But um, I really like the efforts that that put into it. 
it just shows that the more you practice, if you have a practice presentation, you don't have to practice much, but maybe once or twice, even the sequence of speakers and what slides you're going to attend to. So there won't be overlaps and there won't be gaps and it wouldn't seem as if they need practice. You know? And I think one of the one of the most impactful product presentations would be ones where they tell their story, their journey first. Oh, we wanted to do this and this is what we did. Mm. And those are the most impactful ones because they're telling exactly why did they do what they did exactly. and, exactly. and what's their story behind it. So It's easy to connect with such groups. So, like so this one didn't have a story mm. but others others did. And then we had the next group, group number seven, blinkers. Um, a scooter stand, again, a very, very um, needed product for the need of the hour. And good product. The presentation was, however, not as effective, did not actually bring out the importance or the relevance of this product. Later on, when we talked to them, it kind of unraveled. And I think it's basically because they were not comfortable speaking. That's all. Yep. Definitely. Uh, the the same thing applies to the radio jingle as well because uh, radio jingle could have been slightly more informative. It was more like, okay, you need to buy this product. That's then. There was nothing more to that. But apart from that, uh, it is a very well thought out uh, product and like it's a it's a small thing basically which nobody actually thinks of. But they have thought about it. They have found a solution about it. So that's a good thing. Uh, there, there's one last point which I wanted to say was that, uh, where was it, where was it, uh, no, man, it's fine, uh, if I just get it, I'll speak about that. Uh, I think the product was very useful, uh, yes, it, it was a different kind of problem and uh, because of the speed breakers, it is very, uh, you know, it is required as of now. Uh, the only thing they lacked was enthusiasm, uh, the energy uh, didn't come to us, so, uh, otherwise the presentation was good, it was a nice effort, good teamwork. Uh, they, they just could have been more confident about their product because their product was really nice. That's just one thing. It was a nice product and, and a lot of times when, when you make a product, the biggest idea or the biggest goal is satisfaction of the end user. And they, they did a wonderful job defining the problem, solving the problem. But when it came to end user design, how, how an end user would actually use the product, it became kind of wavy over there because the end user had to purchase the product then the end user had to open up their scooter and put in all those complex efforts and money and i think i think their goal could have been slightly towards making end user reduce their efforts but otherwise defining the problem was very creative and solving it also was very creative and it was a nicely assembled product i just remember the last fact which i was about to say that uh, they used a statistic saying that about one lakh people or uh, slightly more than one lakh people die, be die because of uh, strands not being in their position if you are using that statistic uh, make sure you've not just pulled it out uh, from anywhere if you are using a statistic make sure you're backing it up with a credible source, probably at times, uh, uh, probably a newspaper or some article which you read. So it, it would be a good idea to mention the source of that information. Okay, just an additional comment. I just thought about this. Enviro, Blinkers, Dynamic Innovators and Poznot. All these four, one attended to pollution, the other one attended to stand, the stand. Then we have Dynamic Innovators who want to, got the helmet and the starting and pause not was parking. So the, the, these four attended to all the traffic situations and the bike and whatever uh, related situations, related problems. And I think if they all came together, we could have an amazing product. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine a product where you have all these things. Maybe Ayush's bike. Okay, next one, group eight, Salvis. Unique. Uh, it was a very dreamy product. I would say a dream. It's like a dream. Shadows and silent talks. Good product. They explain the meaning of the word salvus. Good TV advertisement. Good. And the, uh, the explanations became better in the question answer rounds. Well, initially, I had not understood much. So the explanation kind of helped me get a better insight into the product. The product would have definitely benefited with a bit more research and uh, uh bit more research about existing products in the similar market and in the similar range. Uh, so definitely that was one thing which I thought they could have thought about. The other thing which I uh, thought was that the adverti uh, advertisement strategy that uh, that they don't they don't want to uh, uh, they want to avoid advertising. That's what they said. So I don't particularly agree with that. And 
how sustainable without advertising their business would be at 7000 rupees per piece uh -huh, exactly uh uh, they, I guess, uh, they avoided advertising because they wanted to protect the products from <laughs> So that doesn't go hand in hand. You have to market a product. So, and uh, as they said, the product was inspired from movie Home Alone. And uh, it was a good idea, but I don't know how well it could have been executed. You know, setting up, customizing everyone's voices and uh, getting it played over. Uh, and keeping the electricity on for the entire time. So... It was a one-of-a-kind idea. I couldn't have thought of it, but then uh, the implementation is, is what seems a little risky. Yeah, I agree. It was a crazy idea. I, it, it, it's very hard to come up with an idea like this, where you literally take a plot of a movie and think about, oh, what if it was real? So it was a crazy idea. I really like that. Um, practical aspects of the idea weren't very good. Um, paying 7,000 bucks than electricity for a month. So there were a lot of practical design issues that uh, could have come up with this uh, particular product. But it was it a was crazy idea and, and there was some sense of creativity into this idea which was very interesting to see. I thought maybe the neighbors could come and switch it on. <laughs> no, to save electricity mm. or maybe some relative. Uh, that is what I was thinking. Okay. Uh, number 10, no, number 9, solitary reapers. Reaper should have been, not reapers. Just one person and an amazing, amazing presentation. Extremely good product. Well, radio jingle was the best. Yeah. There was actually not much the of a jingle, stuck. but it was like uh, beautiful, beautifully done. Appropriate target group, group and good presentation. He was very confident, self-reliant, and he did it well. Even the tagline for this product was really amazing. Uh, like the product will, the product will adjust for you. You don't have to adjust for the product. So that was he really nailed it. Yeah. And he has got really good thoughts about the economy. When I asked him about the village schools and pricing about the village schools, he said that he would like to give them some discounts and uh, how he would like to not uh, uh, just selfishly de uh, develop his business but help the market overall. So that was a very good thought on his behind. So. That's, that's a trait of a very good businessman. That's a trait of a very self-aware businessman. Those, those kind of business businessmen definitely go far long. And uh, even before you asked, I had noticed it on the slide that uh, he had mentioned that it was for social wel welfare. He would uh, yes. contribute to social welfare. So it was a nice, it was a very good product, I think that, uh, mm, I mean, and it has multiple uses. Uh, like I said, apart from schools, it can be used at workplaces or even home. And uh, uh, it can be improvised upon, adding cushions. It can be easily customized. The price was good. And uh, he also took feedback of the principal of Nagar, Pikariya. So uh, that looked very nice. Uh, overall, a great presentation for a great product. Um, yeah, I absolutely, I absolutely loved the work he did. Um, one of the biggest signs of a very good entrepreneur, I feel, is the fact that you can pivot when you see that something's not going right and you figure out a different way and start doing it. Um, he did it with his team, probably he did it, um, he spoke about it while he was working. We saw about it in his making video, that was very good. He had he had great market research about what he was doing. Um, although, how good the product in itself was kind of, is kind of debatable because there are other tables that are available which have remote control and all of that. But the fact that he wanted to put the 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 rest of the economy before his product was very interesting. Um, and one of the very interesting facts that I saw was that while he was presenting, a lot of groups when they present or when they have their introductory video, they have the team names flashing. This person, this person, this person, and then the 30 seconds of their product. Um, this guy didn't have his name. I still don't remember his name. I don't know if even if he said it. So I think he put the product before uh, himself. That was very exciting to see. And all in all, it was a it was a great presentation. I think I think the fact that he went out of that group helped him, um, and not the product in itself. Mm -hmm. If he was in a group with that product, I think the perspective would have totally be, totally been different. I think we all gave him a ten. Did we give him a ten? No. 
You know? I get three tens <laughs> in one night. You got three, three tens and a nine on this. Almost a perfect score. Almost, Almost a perfect score. And that is for the faith in his product, you yes, know? Exactly. So much conviction with which he spoke. And he presented very well, very well. Mm -hmm. It was very, very convincing. The radio jingle was the best. Yeah. Yes. He made it stick. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Very, very good. Very good. Uh, group 10, Enviro. Pollution control, I think the product name was Live Air. Good idea, good presentation. And the demo video was good. Very well dressed team again yeah. with the black blazers and the black <laughs> designs. Yes, well, yeah, they had a very uh, dramatic start, so that kind of worked in their favor as well. That uh, got our attentions going quickly. Uh, the PUC certificate uh, backup was very amazing, and they explained it. They explained the product and the PUC certificate. That was such a good evidence that added so many points to the presentation. So, and uh, that sort of. Made the made the point clear that this thing works and we we can have that implemented in the market if we want to. So and they had the future plan for that as well. So it was a it was a really good presentation and a very well thought out, very well researched product. Yes, uh, the problem they were uh, addressing uh, is also you know uh, it has to be thought about. So they took the right problem and exactly. they gave a very simple solution which can be fitted into the existing devices. And they had done great research. They also tried con uh, tried contacting some person from government department. Uh, so very nice efforts. And uh, even when I questioned the authenticity of the those PUC documents, they were very confident and they explained the mechanism how it can work fast and slow. So uh, a great effort uh, on their part. So I really like the product. It was a it was a good product. They they got the PUC done and that was very fantastic. Um, they had put in efforts into it. That was very cool too. So I like that. And they had a working prototype. They just didn't have a bike. So well, um, but I like the work that they did. Group number eleven, sleep well hands, a baby patting machine. Very cute product. It was a good product, and um, the I think the product. If they had, uh, I wouldn't want them to have a baby in the um, in the in the prototype. But if they had some kind of a demo video, that would have uh, definitely, you know, be laid, given more conviction to the product. Yes, definitely. And because of that, the idea sort of failed to come across to us. It, it was definitely a bit hard to understand in the beginning what exactly is that product and how would that function because uh, their choice of words wasn't exactly beneficial for that product. And uh, you know, uh, I and I understood at the end that uh, yes, the mother is present, yeah, and it is not a replacement for yeah. that. Right. So maybe the explanation was not clear. And uh, uh, to make a product with babies, you have to be very careful. So uh, I I think that they uh, missed out on that part. You know, the kind of hand or mannequin they are using, but the technology they used was yes, nice, yeah, and yeah. their efforts are uh, commendable. So. Sure. A uh, very nice uh, team effort for them. I mean, it, it was a very, it was a very interesting product. Looking at four guys coming up with this problem <laughs> was in itself very interesting. And then they had used the motor to solve it. It was fascinating. Only if there was a baby in there, it would have been like a thrilling experience for the baby. Like literally. I think the jingle was also interesting. Was it a jingle where the father says, the father is looking after the baby. The call comes in and says, what are you doing? <laughs> very nice, very, uh, you know, that very was catchy. People. Yeah, very catchy. Yes. The last group, group number 12, I, I guess Hydropure, came up with a water solution, water solution where water collects in the washrooms and that water could be recycled. Okay, so a well stated problem and situation. The problem was nicely stated. They had made two columns, I remember in the slide where the problem was there. And then you had the solution. Yeah. The demo video was a bit too long. And I think uh, the majority of the explanation came. And we got some clarity when the product was demonstrated. Yes. Right? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, the practicalities of that product was a bit too far-fetched. Uh, and they failed to capitalize on the existing market, which is huge at the moment. There are lots of houses. And obviously, there are more houses being built, which is a which is a thing in the market, but there are lots of existing houses as well. So they could have probably thought a bit more and tried to condition the product in such a way that it works for the existing market as well. And there was another aspect for, you know, uh, that grandparents or uh, elderly people don't slip on the floors. 
so that was a good thing uh, so combining these two ideas was a uh, uh, innovative uh, for uh, elderly people as well as reusability of water. Uh, the thing is how the product actually works, uh, that was not very clear till the end when they actually demonstrated. Yeah. So if they had put the video or the demonstration uh, first, then it could have been a better presentation. I agree. I think the these guys had something there, um, but it, was, it, it felt more like we had to dig in to figure out what they had. And they weren't very communicative about it, but now that I think about it, there, there's a sense of futurism in this project. Yeah. There's, it's it's slightly futuristic. It's not it's not something that's made for this time, but probably sometime in the future, cleaning rooms with vacuum tiles could be a really cool thing. Probably I don't know, but it's very exciting. One last thing about their demo video was that it sort of kept okay. on fluctuating. It, it was an added effect, but that sort of took away the attention, it was very, yeah, that blinking, it was very disturbing, so it's a good example for other groups not to have that. And the need to edit videos sometimes, <laughs> yeah. uh, cut some parts. Very, somewhere. very tight editing um, is needed in their videos. They were smart, lazy people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 12 groups and day two done. Oh, an amazing day, actually, the we kind of, the judges, I think, we all we felt tried, that we yeah. enjoyed we were all into it today. Good jingles, good presentations, extremely good con convincing power. Today there was a lot of confidence on stage. Very few groups may be fumbled, but the confidence level and there were sharp dressers. Good dress codes, good, you know, good um, style and poise. Demonst the demo videos and the demonstrations of the products were also pretty accurate. What is very amazing is that as, as an event, it has made students more aware yeah. of the you know situations in society and they've actually thought of i think maybe they're looking beyond their own concerns and their own small circles into things into the world that's one thing which has served and i think as as time goes along and when they look at it because most of them we're talking about products they would make in future yeah. you know these are the features we'll add in so the potential is the poten their own potential as well as the potential of their products is was definitely coming to the fore. So all in all, an excellent day. Day two, done. It was a wonderful experience.